Hello again. Today we're diagnosing a blown head gasket. Uh, it's also going to diagnose a cracked cylinder head or a warped block. Basically, any badness that's going on in the engine that's going to be very expensive to fix. In a normal engine, the coolant circulates around the cylinders and never comes in contact with exhaust gas. What usually separates the two is the wall of the cylinder and the head gasket itself, so if they're mixing, something's going on. I recently had some problems with my engine temp getting high due to a, a faulty thermostat. So I figured it would be reasonable to test my engine for combustion leaks that would indicate the temperature caused some irreversible damage. Mainly warping to the block or the head gasket being damaged due to the heat. Luckily the test is very simple and only takes about a minute. I would 100% recommend buying a block tester kit. It's actually really cheap and easy to use and you get about 16 uses out of the kit or more if you skimp on the fluid. Inside you find some blue test fluid. It won't tell you on the bottle what's in here or... and the website also doesn't say what's inside, but it's Bromo Thymol Blue. Don't tell anybody I told you. There will also be a test chamber with a one-way valve so the fluid doesn't leak out when you're testing, and a suction bulb also with a one-way valve so it only sucks. The way the tester works is it will analyze gases entering the chamber for products of incomplete combustion. Pretend this candle is your engine. Since the flame is yellow, there's higher than normal incomplete combustion. If exhaust gases work their way from the combustion chamber into your cooling system, something that should never happen, it's likely it got there through your head gasket, meaning there's a leak. The blue fluid actually just tests carbon dioxide. And so any, any combustion will release carbon dioxide if it's incomplete. But cellular respiration also produces carbon dioxide, so you can really just test your own breath. And it'll turn yellow. <laughs> so, that's one option. Pro tip, if your breath doesn't turn it yellow, you might be dead. You should probably check. Anyway, let's get to testing your car. First step will be to make sure that your radiator or expansion tank coolant level is two or more inches below the top. The only reason you need this is so coolant won't get sucked up into the tester. Coolant is sometimes green or yellow and it'll mess up the color. Next, start your vehicle and wait for it to warm up. I've been driving around for a while so it's already warmed up to operating temperature. You will need to do this so that the thermostat opens and the coolant is circulating to the engine. Otherwise the coolant that's circulating in the engine won't actually go to the radiator or into the expansion tank. Alright, now let's set up the block tester. First, place the test chamber on the expansion tank and try to make a good seal. Then fill up the chamber with the test fluid up to the line. You could probably get away with using about half this much. I don't know why the line is as high as it is. Next, use the bulb to bring gases from the expansion tank into the test fluid. Do this over the course of about a minute. And if there is exhaust gas present in the cooling system, you will see the fluid change from blue to yellow. Another good sign is that there are no bubbles spontaneously coming through the fluid. Actually, the original patent for the test chamber actually doesn't use the color change fluid at all. It's just water. And if you see bubbling in the fluid, you'll know that there's gas being generated and being introduced into the cooling system. And you can reasonably assume that this gas is from the cylinder leak. If you run out of test fluid, you could use this method of just using water and looking for bubbles, although it won't be as satisfying. Mine never changed, which is a relief. If your fluid never turns blue, a good way to test to make sure you didn't get scammed and just got blue water is to take the test chamber around to the back of the car and test the exhaust directly. The color should definitely change at this point. And that's it guys, hopefully your color doesn't change either and your cylinder head is not warped and there's no head gasket problems, but this is an easy way to check to see if that is the case. And it's really reassuring when it doesn't change. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. I make videos about once a week, and hopefully one will end up saving you hundreds or thousands overtaking to the dealer. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.